Welcome to the lab. Today we're going to do a test to see which compounds conduct electricity and which ones don't. And we're going to start our test with pure water. So we're going to add it to the beaker here. And the way that this test works is if our compound conducts, then the electricity should move between the two electrodes that you see submerged in the beaker right now. We'll top it off with just a little bit more water. And if the electricity moves between those two electrodes, then the compound conducts when it's dissolved. And if the light bulb stays off, then no electricity moves between them. So with pure water, we've got it in first, and we'll go plug our light bulb in now. And what we can see is once we get our light bulb plugged in with pure water, there's no electricity being conducted. So now we'll look at sodium chloride, and we'll stir it in and dissolve it. So it takes a little bit of time to dissolve the sodium chloride. And so now that it's getting dissolved, we'll lower our light bulb in. And we will plug our light bulb in, and if it conducts, the light comes on, like you see here. So sodium chloride will conduct when we dissolve it into solution. Next up is glucose. And this is just table sugar, so we're going to dissolve this guy in here. It takes a little bit longer, but we've got him good and dissolved now. And so we'll lower the light bulb in, and now we're going to go plug it in. And if it lights up, then glucose is going to conduct electricity. And what we see here is that glucose does not conduct electricity. Our light bulb doesn't come on. Our third candidate is acetic acid. This is just vinegar. So we're going to pour it in. It's a liquid, so we don't need to worry about stirring it and dissolving it. And so as we lower the light bulb in here, now we see we can go plug it in. And if the acetic acid lights up, it'll conduct. And we see that the light bulb does not come on because acetic acid does not conduct. Our last compound is sulfuric acid. This is battery acid. And so we can pour this in here. And again, it's a liquid, so we don't need to stir it in. You can see that it spreads out on its own. So we make sure we get all of our sulfuric acid in, and we lower our light bulb in. And now we're going to plug it in. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid, so once we get it plugged in, if it's going to conduct electricity, we should see it, and it does. So we've got two compounds that conducted and two compounds that didn't. Our sodium chloride conducted, our sulfuric acid conducted, our glucose and acetic acid did not conduct. So this is going to conclude our conductivity demo. If you guys could click like and subscribe, that would be great. See you guys next time in lab.